SMT Nation, we back. Nation, the carriers are getting sued. They're getting smattered. State attorneys general on the case. Misleading claims on unlimited plans and free devices. Let's talk about that here in today's video. A link from Jake will be provided down in the description. Ways to support us can be found there as well. Please do like and share this video. Subscribe if you're new here. And turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload from the SMT. I want to start this video first by asking the question. Do you guys think the big wireless network providers, AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile, are misleading customers on unlimited data plan claims and free phone deals? Right. That's just the general question to this, because what the, the the lawsuit is claiming here is that the big three carriers have, you know, misled and tricked customers. Right. So there's a, a fine, a lawsuit. And, and, and the fine that results from it, in which carriers have to pay $10.2 million to settle a lawsuit, alleging that the carriers basically knew that they were falsely advertising their un quote-unquote unlimited data plans and free phones. We know how it works, right? The phones aren't free. You trade in your old one, then they get you on bill credits, but they keep you on the network for anywhere between 24 months to 36 months. So led by New York Attorney General Letitia James, who we know very well from this channel, dating back to the T-Mobile and Sprint merger, uh, now can kind of, I guess, put this in as a victory for her. I'm not sure whenever she's up for re-election, but this will be one of those things, I'm sure of it. Uh, but in addition to the $10 million fine that the carriers are going to have to pay, the agreement does require that future advertisings of the big three mobile network operators, or any of them for that matter, truthful accurate and non-misleading must be how it's done uh, no limits on the quantity of data allowed during a billing cycle must be required to be disclosed as well companies will also be required to appoint a dedicated representative to work with the attorneys general to address complaints filed by customers train their customer service reps to comply with the terms of the agreement all right so what do you guys think i mean this is fresh off the heels of carriers getting sued for I, I I think it was like a 200 million dollar lawsuit for selling customer data right so carriers pretty busy lots happening uh but they're they're getting they're getting raked through the coals as they say obviously these are companies that generate billions in revenues quarterly right tens of billions annually right so I don't think it really hurts them all that much, but it's good to see them getting taken to task for deceptive function. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it, but anyways, good to see. Um, glad for the consumer and, you know, care should be truthful and honest and declare exactly what they mean and how they mean it. But tell me what you guys think of it. Sound off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.